All right, so guys, we're going to work on the next now. And again, like I said before, um, your necks are not as um, straight and as um, stick-like as a lot of people think. You're going to notice that you're going to get the, ch the neck is going to kind of flare out when it's connecting to the neck or to the head. And then it's going to flare out again as it connects to the shoulders. And our neck, and I'll tell you, a lot of people um, overestimate just even how long our necks are, okay? So the first thing I want you guys to do um, is there's this little kind of pocket right here. Okay, see this right here? I want you to put your finger right here in this little, like, dip that we all get about right here at the base of our neck, okay? It's attaching, I think, to the collarbone. Is that the collarbone? <laughs> you got to remember biology class 20 years ago. So I want you to put your finger right there. We are going to measure from there down to that spot. We're going to actually draw that spot first, okay? So you can do this again. I would recommend do, using your 4-H pencil to measure because this is, such a, this is a larger measurement. So measure from there to where that is. So I'm literally putting my pencil on me when I look at myself in the mirror putting it right under my chin. And this shape is kind of like a, kind of like a U shape almost. Or now if you got a higher collar shirt, you may not see it. But you're going to kind of draw that out just like this. And we'll kind of refine that a little bit later. Now what I want you guys to do, I want you to put your pencil literally right under your chin in the mirror, so up against you. I'm just showing everybody on the video where I'm doing this on myself in the mirror. So put your pencil right underneath your chin, and I want you to measure how wide your neck is. Measure how wide it is. And kind of center that, make marks, I don't think I've centered, make marks as far as where you think your, how wide your neck is, right there at the top. And then I want you to look at where does the neck actually attach to your um, jawline. I think I need a move etc. And again, with measuring, actually that's right. Just re-measure, and then. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start drawing just the top part of my neck, and I'm going to kind of flare it out. I can kind of see where it's connecting to my jawline. I'm going to kind of just flare this out. It's not going to be a straight line. It's going to be curved. So I'm just going to start it just like this. I don't know where I'm going yet, so I don't want to finish it. Okay. So now what I want to do, and this is going to be kind of hard, I want to measure just maybe even the distance from my jawline, the back of my jawline to the top of my shoulder to see where my neck ends at my shoulders. So I want to figure out how tall this is. So from like my jawline to the top of my shoulder, how tall that is.
I'm going to try to draw that line just across there a little bit. And I'm just going to draw my neck. So this is the back of my neck. So they're about right there. So this is where my shoulders are going to start. So again, your neck isn't as tall as you think it is. Okay? Not, a tall, not as tall as you think at all. And I'll continue to play with this even a little bit more after I get the shoulders on. Okay. Now the next thing for you guys is to do the shoulders. Now, number one mistake a lot of kids make on this project is that they assume they can actually see the end of their shoulders. You're not going to see the ends of your shoulders at all. Okay. Um, if you guys remember, in, uh, guys are two heads across at the shoulders, and women are about one and a half heads across the shoulders. So even if you did that, you'll clearly see that you're going to run out of room. Okay. So what you're going to do for your shoulders, and this is a really quick, easy thing to do, is that you'll notice is that, again, your shoulders do not come straight out like this. You know, they do not do that. They kind of slope down. And they're going to go off the side of the page, just like that. Okay, this is a much more natural look than that is, okay? Your shoulders do not go straight out. They slope. And again, the ends of your shoulders are going to be off and past the edge of the paper. And of course, we're going to have clothes on here, so that'll fix that up too. And then what you can do too You can even, and some, for some of us, it just depends on how pronounced it is or even how low the neck of your shirt is. You can even, too, and I like to draw in where my collarbone actually is. And that sort of starts right here at that dip and then kind of angles up and towards where the, uh, your, your joints are for your shoulders. And when you do that, it may help you adjust your shoulders. You just want to make sure they're connecting in a good spot. You can see how I kind of play with this and make a lot of lines. And then I go in with my pencil and I kind of carve this or my eraser and carve it out. And that's how you kind of get your neck and your shoulders on there. So after you're done kind of playing with that, um, the rest of your time today is to just continue to make adjustments and tweaks and changes to whatever you think still needs to be fixed. And then um, on Monday again, Monday's going to be hair and shirt day. So make sure you don't have your hair pulled back in a bun or a ponytail. You can have some of it pulled back, but just again, keep in mind, whatever hairstyle you have on Monday is what you're drawing, 
And then the same thing with the shirt. Whatever shirt you're wearing on Monday is what you're drawing. I would take in consideration, I think the weather's supposed to be pretty cold on Monday. Um, but when we shade this, it's probably going to be pretty warm in the classroom. So you may want to dress in layers, like put some like a t-shirt, simple t-shirt on on Monday. So then um, that way you're comfortable when we go to shade it later. Okay? So there you go.